How's it going guys, Mike here, and today we are going to be reacting to the Crunchyroll 2022 Anime Awards. Two weeks ago we cast our vote and today we have now got the results. I've not looked at them yet, so let's be surprised. Right, these are the ones that apply to us now, this is the ones we voted for. So to start off we went for Best Voice Actor Performance English. I didn't really know who to pick because I don't listen to any anime uh, dubbed. So the winner was David Wilde from Skate Infinity. I think we voted for, I can't remember what we voted for, I'm sure I will do a little pop-up who we voted for in the past, but I heard Skate was a good anime. Um, I didn't watch it though. Best Voice Actor Japanese, and we got Yuki Kaji for Eren Yeager from Attack on Titan. I'm not surprised to be honest, Attack on Titan is absolutely massive. Eren Yeager is obviously, <laughs> he has absolutely dominated the, uh, he's dominated pop culture for such a long time now, so. Yeah, it, it's understandable. It's not what I voted for, but I understand why people vote for him. Best film next. Best film, and our winner was Demon Slayer. I'm not surprised, to be honest. Uh, it was such a massive hit, obviously. Um, what were the nominees against Bell? Uh, Bell didn't come out in a lot of countries by the time voting had come out. I don't even think it was out in America by the time the voting had come out. Ava didn't win. That's uh, That hurts me a lot, to be honest, because that was a fantastic finale to... An amazing amazing series that influenced a lot of people and it means a lot to a lot of people whereas Demon Slayer don't be wrong it was an amazing film I watched it in cinema and everything but it was basically just the TV series compiled into a movie I kind of wanted a, you know like a proper movie to win it but you know what I'm not surprised at the end of the day I'm really not best comedy and best comedy winner was comedy can't communicate I'm pretty sure we voted for comedy when we did this two weeks ago uh, yeah, we definitely vote for Kami. Surprised Nagatoro didn't, but Kami has absolutely blown up the internet since she came out. Um, the hype even before um, the anime was announced, just the manga readers alone love the series, so I'm not surprised it's a great show. Like I say, it's what we voted for. Best Fantasy, and the winner is that time I got reincarnated as Slime Season 2. Who were the nominees? Mishoka Tensei did not win Best Fantasy. Who voted for these? Don't get me wrong. I know there is a lot of there is a lot of slime fans. It has a big big following. I understand, but we had Mushoku Tensei for God's sake. This thing absolutely blew my mind. And you know, if any of you watch Giguk, I'm sure you do. If you're anime enjoyers, uh, you know it would mean a lot to him. So I can't wait to watch his video and see his reaction to Mushoku Tensei not getting best fancy at the very least. Best action, and the winner for best action is Jujutsu Kaisen. I think we vote for Jujutsu, didn't we? Yeah, looking at the nominations, yeah, I'm pretty sure we vote for Jujutsu anyway. That's cool then. Jujutsu is amazing. I'm, it's kind of hard competition. It's very hard competition with things, especially like Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. I'm quite surprised Demon Slayer didn't knock it out, but I'm glad Jujutsu Kaisen got it. It deserves it. It really does. It was an amazing, amazing series. Best Drama. I can't remember a lot of the nominations for this. It was so long ago now that we voted. And the winner was To Your Eternity. Well done to To Your Eternity. I'm surprised Fruits Basket didn't win, to be honest. I'm not a watcher of Fruits Basket myself, but I just know the influence that series have. People absolutely love it. Odd Taxi didn't win. That is... Ugh. Don't get me wrong. To Your Eternity is really good, it's amazing, it's fantastic, but I just thought, for me personally, with Odd Taxi being a anime original, an original story, whereas To Your Eternity is based off a manga, um, I was kind of hoping Odd Taxi would have won that, but, you know, it what's done is done, it, don't get me wrong, like I say, To Your Eternity was amazing, it, it definitely deserves a nomination, at least... Best Romance. Best Romance. Our winner was Horimiya. A lot of people actually did comment this on my video when I did my voting because I said I hadn't watched Horimiya. And I think I voted for... What was it? Best, ro best Romance. Did I do Beastars? I think I voted for Beastars because I haven't watched Fruits Baskets. I haven't watched Horimiya. A lot of people were telling me I should have watched Horimiya because it was amazing. And clearly it must have been because it won Best Romance. I will definitely have to go back and watch it now. Best fight scene. I think this is the one I voted for Kobayashi's Dragon Maid just because I wanted to win something. And the winner was, I'm going to guess it like Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah. Yuji and Ao versus Hannah. Ao oh, from the, um, from, was it the school tournament arc, was it that? Yeah, fair enough. And what were the other nominations? Boruto, another Jujutsu Kaisen fight. Vivi, Dragon Maid is what I voted for. 
and then Eren Jaeger versus Warhammer type. Well, well done to Jujutsu Kaisen winning more stuff. Like, like I say, it definitely deserves them. It was an amazing anime. Best antagonist. I think I voted for Echidna, if I remember. Who won? Eren Jaeger. Fair enough. Attack on Titan is massive. I am not surprised whatsoever. Other nominations were... Yeah, Teta Kisaki from Tokyo Revengers. He was a good character, but... And he, yeah, he was an antagonist, but I don't know, he didn't really have the influence that a lot of these had. Same with Yano, like, Yano was cool from Mod Taxi, but he, he, he didn't have that much influence, I'd say. Like I say, mine was between Echidna, but it was going to be obvious that Aaron Yeager was going to win, because Attack on Titan is massive. But yeah, fair enough. Best protagonist, and the winner is... Odakawa! Yes! Finally, some justice for Odd Taxi, thank God. At least there's some sane people who actually vote for Odd Taxi. Yeah, again, it was quite hard picking, so when you got Eren Jaeger again, you got Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen, two massive series you're coming up against. I'm just glad Odd Taxi won something. It definitely, definitely deserves it, and Odakawa was an amazing protagonist. Best character design, I think I voted for Wonder Egg here, and the winner is Jujutsu Kaisen, fair enough. Jujutsu Kaisen was a massive series. Odd Taxi could have arguably won this again as well for character design because you can't tell me that the characters in Odd Taxi are not some of the most unique characters you've ever seen in anime ever, being, you know, different sorts of animals and stuff are so, you know, are so unique and different in so many ways. But, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen, amazing series. I'm not going to say, oh, no, it didn't deserve it. It was an amazing series. But it would have been, I would like to see some smaller series win stuff, but it was obvious Jujutsu Kaisen was going to run away with things this year. Best director, and the winner is Baku Kinoshita for Odd Taxi. Absolutely amazing job they did on that anime. Definitely well deserved. Congratulations, you do deserve that. Yet again, coming up against the likes of Attack on Time, Jujutsu Kaisen. Wonder Egg, I know the, landing, the ending didn't land very well, but it was still an amazing series before that uh, special episode. Sonny Boy, a lot of people in my comments last video did tell me Sonny Boy was an amazing series and I should have watched it. I'm surprised this hasn't picked anything up yet. Um, but still, so glad for our taxi to win, but best director anyway. Best score, I think we vote for Vivi here, I can't quite remember. Demon Slayer, I'm not surprised Demon Slayer is it's going to be between Jiu Jitsu, Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan. There was just three absolute mega series that came out last season, uh, last season, last year. Um, definitely deserve it. I mean, I thought Wonder Egg had some great, great music. Um, best score, anyway. Vivi, like I say, I vote for Vivi personally, but at the end of the day, Demon Slayer is the almighty being that it is. Best girl, best girl. I can't remember the nominations. Let's have a look. Who won best girl? Oh, wow. Nobara. I was expecting someone else. I thought Toru from Fruits Basket was going to win it. Like I say, not watch Fruits Basket. I just know how massive it is. Kami was there as well. How did Kami not win? That's amazing. But in fairness, Jujutsu Kaisen, massive, massive series. Best boy. I'm going to guess it was like... I think I voted for... I voted for Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh! Fuck, Ranking of Kings. I forgot about Ranking of Kings. Congratulations. Well done, Ranking of Kings. Boji, Boji is it? I think it's how it's pronounced, Boji. Oh, Itadori wasn't even in this. No, I think I vote for Draken. I vote for Draken. I thought definitely one of the Tokyo Avengers boys were going to get it because that was a massive series. Or even Odakawa. But Ranking of Kings, that is... I was going to say that's a surprise result, but it's not a surprise result because people love Ranking of Kings, but I kind of thought someone from a bigger series would have won it, but no, congratulations, that's well deserved. Best ending sequence. I can't remember what the nominations are. Demon Slayer. Of course it was Demon Slayer with Massive. Attack on Titan yet again. Beastars. Shadow's House. I think I voted for Shadow's House. That was an amazing series, but another one I don't think a lot of people watched. Definitely worth watching if you haven't watched it. Um, but yeah, Demon Slayer, yet again, it's going to be a Demon Slayer Jujutsu Kaisen fight, for sure. Best open sequence, and that winner is Attack on Titan, fair enough, Attack on Titan, knew it would be again. See, I really wanted I Know Supreme to win, or Odd Taxi. Both of these uh, open sequences were amazing, in my opinion. Dragon Maid's because it was really memorable, and Odd Taxi just because it was like, really good chill vibes, and it really did suit the style a lot, it was great, but... You know, Attack on Titan, massive series. I keep going over this massive series, it's going to win, isn't it? Best animation. Now, this is a big one. This is, like I say, they've done it well, putting anime of the year in best animation. Anim animation is usually one of the biggest ones. And <laughs> Demon Slayer. 
Yeah, again, Mashoka Tensei. Why is Mashoka Tensei not won anything? I'm surprised Wonder Egg didn't pick anything up, and Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, after what happened to Kyoto Animation, their massive comeback for this series, I thought more people would have gave it some more love, but um, apparently not. But yeah, Mashoka Tensei has been done dirty. They really have, because I know for a fact it didn't even get a nomination for Anime of the Year, so it's not winning that, um, which is stupid. But yeah, Demon Slayer yet again. What's new? Anime of the Year. What do you think it's going to be? I have a feeling it's Jujutsu Kaisen. I wouldn't be pissed off if it's Jujutsu Kaisen. If it's, if it's Demon Slayer, I might be a little bit. We'll see. And the winner of Anime of the Year, Anime of the Year, is Attack on Titan. Yeah, fair enough. It's a massive, massive season. Massive series. You know, it's coming into... this is well, Yeah, it's the final season, part one. You know, it's been so long running. It's been built up so much. It, it's, it was kind of going to happen. What were our other nominations? Jujutsu Kaisen... I suppose it was only core two of Jujutsu Kaisen, don't get me wrong, but they don't take it as a full show, they've just took it as like the second half. Sonny Boy, like I said, a lot of people told me in my comments, Sonny Boy was an amazing anime, I'm surprised that didn't get up there. Odd Taxi, I kind of wish it did. Rank of the Kings, also super popular. 86, obviously very similar to Attack on Titan, but yeah, I can kind of see why Attack on Titan 1 is a massive, massive series, but... I don't know, I thought people would have, uh, we've had some amazing kind of smaller shows this year, I thought people would have put more love towards them, but at the end of the day, the bigger shows have just been super big last year, they have just been, you know, it's kind of hard to compete any show when you've got Attack on Titan, Jiu Jitsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer to compete with, you know, the three of the biggest shows we've ever had. Um, so yeah, but yeah, there you go, thank you for watching this video, there are your Anime of the Year winners and various categories from Crunchyroll. Um, you're probably going to disagree with a lot of them, because I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, leave your thoughts down in the comments, I'd love to hear them. Positive or negative, I would love to hear them. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.